Hi, my name is Barry Raglan English. Today I will be reintroducing you to Urban Heat Islands. Along with this reintroduction, I will also be introducing you to a case study from the NASA DEVELOP program. This case study applies satellite data to evaluate urban heat islands and flooding in Mobile, Alabama for enhanced green infrastructure initiatives in coastal communities. What is urban heat island? Urban heat islands are urban areas that experience higher temperatures than outlying areas. This difference in temperatures is what constitutes an urban heat island and it's caused by modifying land surfaces. There are two types of urban heat islands, surface urban heat islands and atmospheric urban heat islands. Surface urban heat islands represent the temperature difference between imperious and natural surfaces. Atmospheric urban heat islands refers to the effects on air from the surface of treetops and rooftops. What causes urban heat islands? Urban heat islands Heat islands are caused by the difference in temperatures that has to do with modifying land surfaces. The temperatures vary in cities due to the amount of space, water, soil, vegetation, and imperious surface, surfaces that are occupied. Imperious surfaces are surfaces that do not allow fluid to pass through them, such as buildings and pavements. On the right hand side, it shows different images and different facts about the causes of urban heat islands. Now let's take a look at a case study from the NASA DEVELOP program. We will investigate the Mobile Urban Development Project, which evaluated urban heat islands and flooding to enhance green infrastructure and in initiatives in coastal communities in Mobile, Alabama. Now we're we'll going to the background. The DEVELOP project was conducted in 2019 by four DEVELOP interns. This project was conducted in partnership with Groundwork, Mobile Trust, and other local partners. The interns utilized satellite earth observations to assess locations in Mobile County, Alabama that were vulnerable to the urban heat island effect and flood impacts. The project's objectives were to study and provide information on urban heat islands and flood risk to help partners develop mitigation strategies for reducing such threats. For this study, they used Landsat 8, Landsat 5, Centennial 1, Centennial 2, Terra, and the SRM, SRTM mission. You can explore these data sets yourself in NASA's worldview. Now we'll go into an abstract about the urban, the mobile urban development. Mobile County is located in the su southwestern corner of Alabama and neighbors the Gulf of Mexico. Mobile has a mild subtropical weather with hot and humid summer months and an average of 66 inches of annual precipitation. Previous storm surges have left vacant lots and brownfield sites. Groundwork and other local organizations were interested in using satellite data to locate communities with increased urban heat to understand areas to prioritize for greening activities. On your screen, you will see a visual representation of Mobile County and Mobile and Mobile County on Alabama. So it, as you can see, it's like a little small portion of Alabama as a state. And on the right hand side, you'll see that this is a picture of Mobile between April 2005 and April 2019. Um, in conclusion, the interns discovered that Mobile is susceptible to urban heat island effect. The effects of the urban heat islands pose health risks among individual living risks in urban communities. This project helped its partners use satellite data to better understand the difference in temperature me measurements across the county so they can identify solutions and make informed decisions. I hope that you all learned a lot about urban heat islands and how satellite data can be used throughout the case study as well. If you have any questions that were not answered in the presentation, please feel free to jot them down and ask during our live office hours. Now we were talking about where in the world. 
This image was taken in 2008 using Landsat 7. It shows the land surface temperature and its relation to populated land in Baltimore, Maryland. Dark purples are cool and pink colors are the hottest temperatures.